I thank you for calling me to speak in this important de debate today on the Passenger Railway Services Bill, which is widely welcomed by rail trade unions and will ensure that train services will be brought under public ownership as private companies' existing contracts expire. Many of us have long campaigned for the renationalisation of our railway, and so today marks a hopeful turning point for our transport system. This is because, time and time again, privatisation has proven to be a failed imposition which has resulted in fare increases, falling real wages, declining quality of service and time tripling crisis after crisis. At the crux of the privatisation problem has been the pursuit of profit at the expense of the taxpayer, railway workers and passengers themselves. The negative impact of privatisation is far-reaching, as non-profitable railway lines are discounted or fares are raised above affordability or service quality compromised itself. It's no wonder, then, that distrust of the railway industry is rife and that there has been consistent long-term consensus for an integrated, publicly-owned railway. And compared to privatised railways, a publicly owned railway does not need to be driven to maximise profits invariably through cuts or price hikes. Instead, a publicly owned rail enables transparent costing and sustainable funding. It means public investment in rail services and properly staffed trains and stations. It also means investing in green transport and creating green jobs that are both socially and economically sustainable. It also means, and I say this as somebody who campaigned alongside the RMT union against the ticket closures, ensuring accessibility and reflecting the needs of a diversity of rail users, including disabled people. And yes, public rail investment will aid much needed economic growth. Madam Deputy Speaker, people are absolutely desperate for change desperate for material change. This government promised to deliver investment, public ownership and employment rights and the bill before the House today is a positive first step towards a fully integrated publicly owned railway. Because our railways exist to support us and people not profiteering should be at the heart of our railways. Thank you.